Ah, hello guys. Um, my GoPro is going insane. It's it's no go. The screen is constantly. I don't know. Oh God. This is like it's like Den of Tools going. Shut up, Moto. It, it's just I just I'm fighting with my GoPro. I know it seems like derivative. Um, today. Yes, it's not. It's me a tank. Sorry, guys. Uh, and gals. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. I don't know. Why am I apologizing? I'm sorry, not sorry. Master Grade um, MSA003 Nemo. Or Nemo. We've found Nemo! Holy crap! It doesn't look anything like the fish I was expecting. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah funny. Um, nice box. I mean, this thing's old, too. This is... This guy's all green and blue. Listen, I told you, I love the grunts. I love Jim's. I really love Zaku's and Dom's and Rick Dom's. And I gotta find me a Rick Diaz. They're so overpriced on eBay right now. Oh, man, are the Rick Diaz is overpriced. But I want a Rick Diaz um, because uh, I like Zeta. Um, and, yeah, I mean, this is AEUG's Anti-Earth Union Group. Uh, they're, you know, their grunt suit. Um, but they also had Rick Diaz's and uh, Hyakushiki, which we're going to do. Uh, we will do a Hyakushiki 2.0. Um, the Man with the Golden Gundam. That would have been a better movie than The Man with the Golden Gun. I mean, that was a really dumb... Look at this. 2006. This thing's, thing's almost old enough to vote. Look at that go. <laughs> I make better decisions than some of us did. Let's go. Okay, I'm not going to get into it. Just... Uh, uh, belay that. Uh, Council to strike that from the record. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's let's unbox this fella. Eh, you know, that's very green. Woo, mama, that is some green. But I like variety in my grunts. We've got a blah blah double inner frame. Definitely inner frame. We're hiding all this beautiful green and in gray inner frame stuff with all that crazy green. Armor. There we go. A couple of those. Got some. Ah, I like this suit. It has a lot of, a lot of colors. It's like a rainbow, rainbow Gundam. Well, not a Gundam, but you know what I mean. It's fun. It, you know, it switches things up a little. I mean, this is why I don't build a lot of. Like, I'm, I'm not a giant fan of all the hero suits. You know, they just get the same, same. A lot of same, same. So, I didn't even say what these were. Uh, yeah, feet, spats stuff. Alrighty. What do we got here? Oh, it's another one of those annoying, really... Uh, there we go. That wasn't that bad that time. I don't like those bags. You guys know that. I like the easy open bags. We've got some... These look like dry transfers. Interesting. You know, in all the models I've built, I've never ever had to use dry transfer decals. I've done tons of water slides. Water slides are great. Once you get it down, I, at first they're very intimidating. They are very time consuming, but they look great. Um, and then the sticker stickers, yeah, they're kind of crap. Uh, but yeah, so we got we got some dry transfers. Let's put them over there. Uh, poly caps on a master grade. This was a thing back in the day. I mean, I'm used to poly caps on little high grades. That's okay though. You know, a couple poly caps never hurt. We don't we don't. I don't plan on playing with this thing like some eight-year-old with his first G.I. Joe action figure. You know, they they get posed once, thrown in the, you know, glass toy cabinet for it to be displayed and almost never touched again. We got some more feet bits. Yeah, the bottom of the feet are red, and that's interesting. Usually feet bottoms are, like, you know, consistently very not colorful. Look at this, another. And this is 2006, so... Uh, the bags I like. Easy to tear. 2006, which was, let me, uh, hold on, I need to do maths. Mm. Mm. Oh, there we go. Uh, fi uh, 15 years ago, basically. I mean, Bandai's been doing this since forever, but way before that. I love, I just can't get enough of these multicolored parts trees. Yeah. It's crazy. Runners, fine. Yeah, someone's going to get mad at me, obviously. But yeah, that's nice. We got the, the cool clear orange. That's a good deep clear orange. That's nice. That looks like, you know, two or three good coats of uh, Tamiya clear orange that would have been needed if this was just clear white. 
So, kudos, Bandai. Thank you. Thank you for saving me some work. And we got another, uh, oh, sort of an easy open bag. Come on. Get out of there. Oh, look at this. It's like Luke's lightsaber. Uh, most, most of the, the, you know, models, uh, come with like pink, reddish, uh, beam saber. Sometimes you get a weird one with a yellow. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, neon. It's like Monster Energy Green before Monster. Uh, was Monster even around in 2006? I don't, probably. Yeah, I think they were. All right, I'm getting old. All right, another bag bites the dust. Got some more inner frame torso parts. Uh, okay. Well, the only downside of grunt kits is they quite often come meagerly armed. Um, yeah, like, if they just got better guns, they would be probably doing better work. But there's many reasons for that, you know. The Gundam technology... I don't know what that... If anyone can read that, go ahead and translate it. Here's the other side. Just pause now. Okay, good luck. Let's see if I have anybody who speak in the, uh, the Japanese or Chinese or whatever that was. I don't know. It looked... Yeah, anyway, I'm not even gonna guess. It's probably Japanese. It's a Japanese model company. So we nest the inner box inside the outer. Well, that's what I do when I'm like really uh, working in tight spaces. Uh, and to toss the empty parts, trees, sprues, runners. Um, memo. Again, this is 06. I'm not expecting. The coolest instructions? Oh, they're not bad. There's the tweezers. Yeah. That's really all you need. See? Those are your tools. Ah, I love these things. No need for a lot of... My God, the metal of my workbench is freezing. Man. I need to get, like, a conditioned space to work in one of these days. The garage is fine. I got two giant electric space heaters overhead that do their best to warm the place up. But, um... I wouldn't mind, like, a finished basement one of these days. That would be just, well, bad for my marriage, because my wife would never see me. I'd always be down in the finished basement doing something or other. Um, yeah. Okay, bunch of stuff. Yeah, money shot. Look at that. That's clearly got some panel lining done to it, and uh, probably a semi-gloss or gloss. I don't even know if they cleared it, but it, yep, there we go. And that's kind of the finish I like on all my models. Literally just on, on these, on the, the robots. The tanks, everyone knows I go a little overboard on the weathering. Uh, one day I'll get, I'll get really bored. I will do an Ian-style weathering to one of these things and just beat the living snot out of it with the chipping and the streaking grime and how I'll put rust on. I don't care if they're made of titanium and titanium doesn't rust, you fool. It may oxidize or discolor. It don't rust. Yeah, whatever. You know, it, it's my model. I'll do what I want. Yeah. You can't tell me how to win it. I want to have I want to win it. Eh. I'm not getting a copyright hit from South Park on that? I, nah, I don't think so. Okay. Well, we're going to start building. If I run into any snags, I will record to vent and cry about it. And if I run into anything where I think there's a tip I haven't seen in the five million Gundam kit reviews I've watched on YouTube... Um, then, you know, I'll, I'll leave you at it. But here, my only tip, as always, when you're building one of these guys and the part doesn't quite click into place and stay where you think, eh, it might fall off, just a little dab will do you. Uh, make sure you're done placing that part, though, because it ain't coming off after this. This literally welds the parts together. I, eh, come on, tank guys, forgive me. I know you know all this stuff. And, and, and most Gundam people, too. But... Whatever. Okay, let's start building. <laughs> let's let's find out what Nemo looks like when we're done. I got more Nemo jokes. I'll come up with something. Um, you know, finding Dory. Oh God, I hope they don't have a kit named Dory. That'd be funny though. It would be really dumb, I'm sure. Okay, I'll be back. Oh, it's not super warm in here, and this thing. It's coming together nicely, as you can see. Uh, no need to panel line those vents ever because there's a nice they're 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 see-through. Um, uh, nub marks on this dark blue are are pretty pretty bad, but it's 2006 kit. 
but oh my god, the sheer finger strength you need to snap this thing together. Oh my god, it's insane. You need to be like a, like a Swedish massage therapist strength of fingers to like to snap this frigger together. And then some of these joints, um, oh, oh man, super tight. I, this should be, as, as far as this is going, this thing should be a rock solid poser. Um, that sounded funny. What do those guys say? They just say solid, rock solid, sturdy, I don't know. But it's not going to be a floppy mess like some of the stuff I've built. Um, oh, D50C Lodo. Ah, oh, I'll only put that on video to show you how much I hate that kit. And the only thing worse than building a D50C Lodo is building two D50C Lodos because they put two of those stupid, horrible, flappy, fall apart hand grenade contraptions in that one box. We'll have to do a review on all the little kits I've already built throughout the course of 2020 and 2021. But uh, I was really saving most of the Master Grades for the YouTube video series because they're just, they're just cooler! I mean, a high grade... Listen, if you can only afford a high grade, dude, get high grades. They're great. They're great. They're just smaller, and they have a slightly less bit of detail. But it's the same It's the same robot. You know, if you build a Zaku 2 high grade, or a Zaku 2 real grade, or a Zaku 2 master grade, or a Zaku 2 perfect... Uh, perfect grades... Uh, that's an old perfect grade. But still, they're all the same. They're all the same robot. The proportions and decals and number of parts and color separations and color correcting stickers type of decals yeah it's, it all varies and you know if you don't have a lot of space then I mean and you can afford a master grade but you don't have the room go real grade even though I'm never building another one of those things ever again for the rest of my life unless I run out of kits and that's all that's left and, and, and I'm desperate because they're just too fiddly these fingers don't deal with the tiny you know you grit your teeth a little kind of yeah no thanks. Okay. Let's get back to work. I'll stop talking so much. But that's what I do, you know. Okay. Be right back. This is no Zaku, boy. Yeah, I'm on part two of the three-part movie trilogy version of Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. Um, it's, sl it's slowing down the progress a little. Again, reading subtitles, sort of, kind of. I'm just here, but whatever. Um, yes. The Manuel said to for to put the head and the arms on, so I for to put the heads and the arms on. And this kit is nice and tight. All the joints are really good. Oh, look at her go! Yeah. Oh, he didn't. He didn't use any uh, right guard today. Oh, I'm aging myself again. Right guard. Yeah, I know it's a nice, nice coming out. Coming out rather nice. She's looking good. She's got the fully, the three and the one and the thumb hands. You know, these are nice hands, and they're 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 good and firm. Nice toit joints for the most part. All these things loosen up with time. The more you play with them, the looser they get. Oh dear. <laughs> Thank God I specifically checked the box that this channel is not for kids. <laughs> that was. That was one of my, uh, that was a, a one-liner of a lifetime right there. The more you play with them, the looser they get. I love it, kids. I'm going to say that in every video, probably. I can't help it. Um, we got a, oh, that's a good bend. Look at that bend right there. That's nice. Some good color separation. That screams for a little panel lining. Uh, as does some of this. There's not a lot, very few panel lines on this kit. Very few. Um, so I am going the extra mile now because of how touchy this dark plastic is to my, uh, my manhandling of it with Tamiya double-bladed fine pointy whatever nippers. Um, I'm using the, the fingernail polishing side of the, yes, it's pink. You know why? Because I stole it from my wife because this is like thousand grit right here. It's for polishing. Polishing. Look at that. I can give myself a manicure while building a Gundam at the same time. Oh, smooth and silky. Um, yeah, you can buy this stuff online uh, for modeling, you know, the multi-stick kit. These are like, these are like cents. They don't make sense. I'm saying they're cents. They're like 50 cents or 25 cents or whatever it is. You go to like whatever the nail section of somewhere cheap 
Walmarts, dollar stores, whatever they are. Um, these are very cheap and they're very nice and I use them for my model tanks as well. The screen of my GoPro keeps thinking I'm swiping down on it for some reason. It's literally just possessed today. Every time I do a video, I hate my GoPro and it it, it has decent results, though, you know, mostly. But, um, yeah, there we go. So here we are. Okay, we're about about half done. Legs, legs are always, I hate leg day. All of us hate leg day. Um, but this guy's not going to miss leg day, so time to build the waist unit and leg unit. I should say units. Plural. There's two legs. That's okay. You know, it's a decent translation. I've seen worse on Chinese restaurant menus. You know? Or, or at the food court, when you go to those places. Um, I've seen... Well, you have bourbon chicken. You know the plate. You know the you know the dish guy. Yeah, you know, the bourbon chicken at the mall food court Chinese place. Well, the Chinese restaurant near us called it Boonborn Chicken, and then uh, at the mall, then they had their faux pas as as opposed to General So's chicken, General Sao. Um, they just called it General Chicken. It's like general purpose. It general chicken. You know, it's not robot chicken from Adult Swim on Cartoon Network. It, it, general Chicken. So he's in charge of Robot Chicken. Robot Chicken is a subordinate of General Chicken, obviously, because General Chicken, he's, you know, I wonder if there's an Admiral Chicken. That would be interesting. Oh, God, just shut up, Ian. I'm sure there's a fried chicken place somewhere in Georgia called Admiral Chicken, probably. Um, I Google it. Maybe it exists. I don't know. Yeah. I'll be back. Oh, oh God. I still, I'm, I'm resting on the laurels of, of my you play with it, it gets loose joke. That was fantastic. I crack me up. I'm my own favorite comedian. All right. Be right back. Well, campers, uh, White Base has made it to Jaburo. Um, it's Gundam references. Come on. The Gundam people get it. All right. There we go. Oh, God. Leg day. Um, I mean, they went together fairly straightforwardly. Again, a lot of really... Uh, Urgh, a lot of, lot of, lot of finger strength required here. I did, you know, I sanded down my nubs a bit. Um, I saved the best for you guys. Come on, let's dock this baby. Oh, yeah, it was a good click. I, I think I can speak for all of us when I say, uh, when you're building these things, that 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 click, that click is is quite satisfying. Got some little color separation bits in here. Look at this guy in the Nemo. It's like the joints are super, super stiff. That's crying for some panel lining. Not that you're really going to see it. It is on red. There's our, our red foot bottom. What are these, Manolo Blahniks? What is this, Sex in the City robot with, with the red soled shoes? This is like the sultry Gundam. And you know what's funny is I'll say things that I know the tank people don't get, but the Gundam people get, and then I'll say something that probably none of you get. You'll have to you'll have to Google red soled shoes and Manolo Blahniks. But uh, I have a wife who uh, likes likes a couple fancy things. She doesn't buy many fancy things. I I, I buy her more fancy things than she buys herself, but yeah, the Manolo Blahniks were popularized in the uh, HBO series Sex and the... Ah! Shit just falls off of this thing. These right here that stow the beam saber handles, they're, they're bullshit. They, they're supposed to kind of open... See, and they just fall off. Yeah, mother son of a... All right, whatever. Um, we still got to build... The, uh, we still got to build the, the, hello, buh, 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 buh. we got to build the, the uh, gun, I don't know if it's a beam, it's, uh, it, it might be a beam weapon or a machine gun or whatever it is, we got to build that, and the shield, we got some bits here floating around, and we got a little, tiny, little, little tiny yellow man. Not making a racial joke here. I mean, it's just a little yellow man. <clears throat> so, that's that. By the way, um, this is a good bit of parts runner tree sprue T-1000. 
to keep. I'm keeping this. This is where the the you know the uh, the the sensor cover eye thing face whatever was there. This could be very handy um, for people uh, wanting to make some you know clear orange parts. Let's say you're making like turn signal lenses. You could cut something out. I don't know. I'm a pack rat. I sort of keep a lot more than I should. Um, but yeah, let's let's take a look at one of these uh, beamy saberies. I'll tell you one thing, on this kit, I did more um, double nipping, you know, like nipping before, like a little else away from the nip, and then nipping, nipping, nipping carefully down to the piece, um, just to, uh, there we go. You need a little beam saber? Come on, little guy. You can hold on to that. There you go. Yeah. Oh, green beam saber for a green robot. That's pretty cool. It looks quite looks quite nice with the green beam saber. Um, so when we come back to this, <clears throat> which will be a few seconds for you, but many many minutes for me, um, I'm not going to. Pa so I found a problem here, um, and, and the you uh, Gundam peeps can chime in. Is if you use the Gundam marker to panel line this, and then you use the Mister Hobby. Well, I don't know if I used Mr. Hobby or another flat clear, but whatever. I flat cleared it, and it made the Gundam marker panel lining run and 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 bleed and do weird things. Um, and I'd like to use Tamiya panel line accent color on a model. This one, I don't know if it really needs that level of detail, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna flat clear it before I panel line it. And to be honest, just flat clearing one of these things makes it look a bajillion times better. In my opinion. I'm a big fan of flat clear. I do a lot of military armor modeling. You know, those 16th scale tanks I previously mentioned, which are quite readily apparent on my channel. Um, look at this. I'm bending the knee. I'm bending the... Ah, oh, I hit myself in the face with a beam saber. There's got to be, like, some sort of safety mechanism to keep that from happening. These are advanced computer-controlled robots. There's got to be, like, a... Eh, too close to the face. Bend. Canceled. Ah, okay. Um, yeah. Look at this. Grown-ass men sitting in their basements playing with Japanese robot model toys. This is what life is, baby. We have reached the pinnacle. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to finish up the weapons. I'm going to flat clear... All of that, and we'll, we'll BRB. Flat clear dries really fast, so we're going to get this done today. And uh, now my GoPro app says camera off. You piece of garbage. Okay, I've got to hit the button on the camera, guys. Sorry. And the finish line, uh, mostly. I mean, I could panel line this. But, uh, yeah, here's here's what we got. Flat clear. Uh, oh, hit the camera. It's hard to film. This is just very... Mr. Super Clear UV Cut flat. There we go. Looking pretty nifty. I like it. Okay. Yeah, we took the lens out of the head. And, uh, yeah, there we go. They look so good in flat. Like, the flat clear mellows out the extreme colors of the plastic a little bit. It enhances others. Like, when you have that flat or matte, whatever, you know, you prefer, it also, it also hides some sins. There were some really horrible white stress marked nub marks up there and it really minimizes them by just flat clearing the damn thing I don't like these spats they're they're annoying uh, other than that it went together pretty easy um, other than uh, just the strength needed to snap some of this stuff together but uh, but, uh some guys do the shake test yeah I mean, other than the beam saber getting a little loose in the hand here. Come on. Hold on. 
hold on to your binky. Um, other than that, yeah, this thing is solid. She's a solid poser. Yeah, even though he could really use a bigger gun. It's pretty sad. Focus, you son of a GoPro. Shield's pretty cool. It has a slidey feature for it to compress and whatever. Um, I don't want to break anything. Um, you know, articulate... Everyone does all these articulation things and does it do the splits and how far up does he... Eh, whatever. Here you go. That's what you wanted to see. Here's the model. Finished. Mostly. Um, I, I, I foregoed any of these dry rubs right now. I mean, it's A-E-U-G. I mean, I don't think they're really throwing their logo over everything. And then you got some Argama, you know, for the ship it was riding on it. Anaheim Electronics and some numbers and some arrow. Come on. I mean, even in the artwork picture on the manual, there are no decals. Just no decals. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I mean, in all the artwork, look, they're not bothering with the decals. In the anime, you don't see any of the decals. You know, there's no markings on it. I mean, other than maybe, like, a unit marking. Like, yeah, you could throw a unit marking on it, I guess. Like, you put a number right there, maybe. They have number 36 in the manual. But even here, there are no decals applied little panel liner and that's it so maybe we'll do a little panel liner that might that might be cool but for now let's call this one finished we're gonna do like a separate episode just on like panel lining clear like after clearing doing the panel lining and all that oh dear oh the fumes down here are delightful they are wow Mr. Hobby, you make some you make some good clear coat fumes. Don't worry, people. I was wearing a respirator while doing this. We, oh, oh, not easy to get to from here. There we go. Let's just uh, let's put you in the background. Yes, we wear one of these when we paint. Okay, this is the uh, the organic vapor cartridge. This is what for two you use in a spray booth. So you don't breathe all that in. But even after... Oh, God, I hit the damn camera again. Even after you're, uh, you're done painting and you've aired out the place for a little while, it can still be a bit stinky. But yeah, there we go. Um, we're all done. That's that. Okay? Um, AUG, watch out. Titans are coming in. Ooh, Titans. We do have one Titans kit upstairs, I believe. Um, yes. Yeah, I do have at least one Titans kit. It's kind of a big one, though. So I don't know when I'm going to be building that. By the way, the Beam Saber um, is is not all that crooked. It's really the... It's more the camera than anything. It has the, the slightest little... Slightest little bow to it. Um... But, yeah, it's mostly the wide-angle setting on the GoPro. Again, F you, GoPro. I mean, yeah, you're great for snowboarders and shit, maybe. But, uh, you know, for this type of work, you have been a trial on my life. Um, that's that. All right, guys. Uh, see you on the flip-flop next side. Uh, we we did a, a gym-based kit this time. We're going to do something more Zaku-y-ish uh, next time. And again, flat clear anime. It looks like a cartoon cell when you flat clear them. You could do a matte, you could do a semi-gloss, or you could do a gloss. Many different clear options. Why would you do a gloss? I don't know. I like, I think the flat clear gives it a little bit more of a military feel. Um, also, like radar absorption, uh, anti-reflective... A lot of good reasons to have a matte, cle a matte, or a matte or a flat finish. You know, less reflection um, could be radar absorbing. Blah blah blah. Um, 
you don't you, you know you don't see a lot of a glossy clear coated Humvees driving through the jungle or the desert when they're on combat patrols. So, you know, same thing in space, you know, less reflective the better. There's a lot of stars and twinkling lights and you just want to be subtle. So that's my opinion and I'm sticking to it. I don't think I'll ever gloss clear anything Gundam that I build unless it clearly requires a gloss clear. Like a gold-plated Hyakushiki kit, I might just do a semi-gloss clear. Because even then, if you see gold stuff on like NASA satellites and and lunar rovers and Mars rovers and other probes, it, it's never super shiny shiny. It's like, eh, it's gold. You can tell it's gold, but it's not the shiniest gold. So we're either going to do, you know, a semi-gloss at the most on something like that. All right, I'm done. I'm out of here. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Go home. Go away.